Hello there, Elizabeth. Okay, let's have a look. The issue of whether or not employees should remain in the same position for their entire life has grown in importance over the last few decades. Genius. Even though long-term posts have numerous advantages such as stability. Okay, it would have been a good idea because we put advantages and then we give an example because say such as stability, career progression and familiarity. Yeah, just put the one, two, three of those advantages. I largely believe that certain changes throughout career progression could mean not only professional development, but also personal growth. Genius. It says they will discuss why posts changing, or why post changing, or even better, why changing posts is a positive practice and the path to follow. Very good. Wonderful stat. Start with changing to a new post could provide individuals not with not just with new expertise, but also develop current professional skills. Excellent. Be careful, we've already used this inversion pattern once before. Okay, not only this, but this. So we can only pick up points once for using it. If we use it one, twice, three times, the second, third time, we're not going to get the points. This is primarily because employees who are exposed to new companies' environment policies may broaden existing views and knowledge. Good, may. Well done for hedging it. For instance, recent studies from NHS, from the NHS we usually say, have shown that doctors who worked in different hospitals along their careers developed more rapidly in their expertise. Good, therefore it could be acknowledged, wonderful, that moving between positions could lead to expend one's professional experience. Good could lead, therefore it could be acknowledged that moving between positions could lead to um, expend. Maybe we wanted to say extend or improve. Expend is like to use up. I just had to check, but yeah, to use up. I think I've got it here. Spend up or use up a resource. Okay. What is more? Being here, we can use firstly, and here we can also use secondly, or furthermore. Yeah, it sounds a little bit more academic. Being able to transfer to a new job could promote personal growth. This is due to the fact that leaving a position facing uncertainty may encourage the expansion of valuable life skills, such as versatility and adapt adaptation to unexpected circumstances. Wonderful. For example, a recent, we can't have a research a research, it's a plural noun, so we have to say, for example, recent research from the National Association of Psychology has found that individuals who have experienced post changes are more likely to liaise and cope with difficulties in life. Good. Hence, well done for using li liaise, that's it. excellent. Hence, switching current jobs may provide society with numerous skills, encouraging one's development. Genius. Wonderful. Crystal clear, beginning to end hardly any errors. You're doing really well, Elizabeth. I'm very impressed. To conclude, it should be noted how employment change from time to time may be seen as a positive approach to develop per both personally and professionally. It is predicted that UK's, that the UK, when we have, um, and it's a full title, the United Kingdom, we still have to put Okay, if it's just a country like France or Germany or England, we could say it is predicted that England's employees or Germany's employees, but because we're using the UK, we have to, we have, because we're using UK, we have to say the. Likewise with the USA, or if it's plural, it is predicted that the Netherlands employees, okay, will be changing to a new company at least twice in their lifetime. Wonderful way to finish there. Excellent. Very impressed with this work. And yeah, it's lovely to see the progression there and the improvement. Good work, Elizabeth. The bar, the graph, the bar graph or the bar chart shows the quantity of worldwide bird flu cases over a 10 year period between 1990 and 2000. Genius. From 1990 to 95, there's a steady rise in the cases found over this five year period. Fantastic. The number of bird flu Cases, incidents, incidences, victims, okay, with cat and bird flus, was just over 120,000 each in 1990-1991. The 
This quantity rose gradually at around 132 casualties each, 1992 and 1992. Okay. Each between 1992 or for 1992 and 1993. That's the one. Each for 1990. Yeah. In 1995 and 1995, the gradual increase continued at near 140,000 and around 145,000 respectively. Good work there. Very good. Now, as you can see, we've kind of fallen into a list. Okay, we're going into every single year. We could improve that by saying the following year, the preceding year, the next five years, the next two years, you see? And this way we can just introduce more variety into our language, into our report. Over the period 1996 to 2000, bird flu casualties continued rising at just 150,000. No, continued rising at, and then we have to say a rate if we're using at. Continued rising to 150,000 in 1996. Whereas in 1997, well done for using the comparison, there were around 25,000 less or more. I'm kind of confused now. So that was 150 in 96. Okay. Right. So I'm guessing that's more. Yeah. There were around 25,000 more cases as in 1996, being the highest number in the 10 year period analyzed. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Then the casualties leveled off, good, until the end of the period, have a mining, having a minor decrease in 1990. Good, very good, accurate. And well done for noting the small uh, leveling off there and good use of the term. Overall, the number of casualties rose gradually from 1990 to 1996, where a peak was reached in 1997, leveling off until the end of the period with a minimal reduction in 1999. Good. Excellent. I think we did we use level, yeah, unfortunately we used leveled off twice. Maybe we could use plateaued, yeah, or steadied. Um, but overall, it's a very good task one. Impre I'm impressed. Now, Elizabeth, um, I mentioned it on the email, but I'll just mention it here. I've today actually upgraded the sentence guide and you might want to have a look at the C2 module because I think we could use a lot of those phrases into your writing and I think we'd see a big improvement. So what I recommend doing is just having a look through the new videos and then applying that knowledge to this essay pack, okay? All right, have a great day and uh, keep writing. You're doing well.